Hi everybody, today we're going to be looking at solving what we call the unmarked array model of division. We've been working on this in class a little bit, so we're going to look a little bit closer at how we solve a division problem using the unmarked array. So the first thing we need to do is to understand that division is really just a reversed multiplication problem. So in this problem, 360 divided by 5, what we're really trying to figure out is how many groups of 5 are in the number 360. So in other words, we're trying to figure out 5 times what equals 360. Now, instead of trying to figure that out in one big step, how many 5's are in 360, we're going to work our way up to 360 by multiplying by 5 in smaller, easier pieces. To make life easier, we should multiply by numbers that end in 0 first, as long as we can, because we can do those kinds of problems in our head. So we're going to start off by making an unmarked array, which is just a big rectangle, a big empty rectangle. And what this array represents is the number that we're dividing. So this array represents our total of 360. And on the outside, I'm going to put our divisor, the 5. That's the number we're dividing it by. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is figure out what should I multiply 5 times that's going to help get me close to 360. Now, a lot of people think it's easy to multiply by 10s. So someone might think, oh, maybe my first step should be multiply 5 times 10. We can do that problem in our head because 5 times 10 is 50. So that's taken up a portion of our 360. And I'm just going to keep track of how many we've done here on the side. So, so far we're up to 50. That means I've got 310 more to go. So I need to keep multiplying by 5s until I get all the way to 360. I could do another 10 which is another 50. And I'm going to go ahead and add that 50 to where I'm keeping track of things over here. 50 plus 50 is 100. So I've gotten to 100 so far. That means I'm 260 away now. So I could do another 10. But as you can see, this is going to be a lot of steps if I keep going 10 times 10 times 10. So why don't we combine steps instead of doing a whole bunch of 10s in a row? Couldn't we just combine all those tens into a bigger chunk? Let's try that. I'm going to just go down here a little bit. I'm going to redraw my array. And this time, why don't we start with 5 times 50? We just combined ten tens to 5 tens together and made them into 50. And the way we could solve this as a mental math problem is by thinking in our heads, what is 5 times 5? Well, I know that 5 times 5 is 25. And since there's one zero in that problem, I would add one zero to my answer. So by, com by combining all my tens, I got to 250 in one big jump. That means I'm now 110 away from my goal. Trying to get to 360, I'm up to 250 right now. Okay, so next, I should maybe multiply 5 times 20. And if it so happens that you multiply by a number and it turns out you go too far, like we go over 360, we can always go back a step. We can erase it and do a smaller number. Now I know in my head that 5 times 2 is 10. And there's one zero in 20, so I add a zero to my answer. And now since I'm keeping track on the side over here, I'm going to add another 100. And I'm up to 350. Now how far away from my goal am I? I'm trying to get to 360, and I'm up to 350, so we're 10 away. So now we need to think in our heads, is there 5 times anything that's going to give us that 10? Well, of course, 5 times 2 makes 10. So at the top, I'm going to write times 2, and that equals 10. I add that to where I'm keeping track of it, and now I've made it to my answer of 360. So in this problem now, Here's where we find what the answer is. We look at how many groups of 5 we ended up multiplying in all. And we kept track of that on top. First, I multiplied by 50 groups of 5. Then I multiplied by 20 more groups of 5. And then I did 2 more groups of 5. And as a total, that equals 72 groups of 5. So that's the answer to my division problem. The answer is 
72. And I didn't have anything left over. We got up to 360. That means I don't have a remainder. If we had gotten up to, say, 358, then we would have had a remainder of 2 because we would have been 2 away from what we were trying to get to. So I hope that helps in solving division with unmarked arrays.